here's the crazy story. But first, here's some ASMR. <laughs> this video is a follow-up to the one I made back in June where I set a goal to write a solid draft of my first screenplay before the end of September. I made that video to keep me on track and to make sure I finish, and I'm making this one to share my process just in case there's anybody out there that wants to try and take that next step. So for a while I had this seed of a story idea in the back of my head. There's this restaurant called the Charcoal Pit by the college that I went to and now work at, and it burned down, and so I always thought that that would make a good kind of um, interesting concept to a story. So that sat in my head for a while, but I struggled to figure out how to write something that long. And I've always been somebody who can do a lot in a couple of days, but never somebody who could do something over a long period of time. I like in college, I really struggled to write, you know, 15, 20 page papers. And so I figured that if I was going to try to write a 90 page screenplay, I needed to break it down and set a low bar that I could reach and do a little bit every day to get there. So uh, first, I spent the month of July really mapping out the story and figuring out the major plot points and who the characters are that would live in that world and what they would want. And then uh, starting July, I wrote three pages a day. I set that goal. And I felt like three pages a day, I could just get that out even if they sucked. And a lot of them did suck, but I felt that if I could just get three pages a day out, by the end of July even, I would have the rough draft. And I kind of scribbled that together in uh, this vomit draft uh, screenplay book that I got on Amazon. And it really helped writing it longhand because um, I could just get it out easier. Plus, if it sucked, I could cross it out. So I, I did do a lot of crossing out. Um, and I kept notes. This is the journal, just a regular journal that I used. Uh, just to kind of keep track of where I was. This is what I started off with in June. So then in August, I set the goal to type three pages every day. So I just kind of pulled that notebook out, set it on front of my computer, and just retyped what I wrote. And along the way, as I would find things that I would want to kind of rewrite up, like there was a lot. The script, the draft changed a ton from the handwritten one to the first typed one. But by the end of August, I had a 90 page really rough uh, typed script. And then in September, I set the goal to kind of go through and edit five pages a day. And so I did, I met that goal, I edited five pages a day and I finished like a good solid second draft by the end of September, by tw the 21st of September. And um, to keep track of all this, I have a calendar that sits by my desk and I would put a red slash next to every day that I kind of met that goal. And I, after like 15 to 20 days, I wanted to make sure that I didn't break that streak. So um, I, I did from the beginning of July <clears throat> until now, every day I've, uh, I've either wrote three pages a day or edited five pages a day. I set out to write this because I felt like if I'm ever gonna make a feature film, you know, I've gotta be able to write one. I've gotta be able to sustain a story over that period of time and I knew that the first thing I tried to do wasn't going to be any good, so I just needed to get that bad writing out. But then uh, when I finished, like September 21st or 22nd, I printed it out. Um, and when I held that in my hand, uh, it was like a moment of, of, of achievement, of accomplishment to think that like even though <laughs> it's rough, um, you know, with just a little bit of work every day, you can you know, kind of finish something that I really thought was so daunting. So for things that I want to do better the second time around, I think I really need to spend more time with the characters before I start writing the script, uh, really figure out like who they are, what they want, their relationships with each other, like backstories, big moments in their life, why, why this story needs to happen to them. I really feel like um, my characters are good, but they're just not fleshed out enough. And so they really kind of fit the plot that I worked around. And the story's in neo-noir. It's titled The Missing Million. Um, you know, it's inspired by Dashiell Hammett and, uh, and, and inspired by Brick by Ryan Johnson. So the plot kind of is a big driver, but at the same time, the characters could be more interesting and could have more to them. And the other thing that I think I could do better next time is spend a lot more time on the rewrite. Of course, like, great writing is rewriting. That's a quote we've heard a million times. but. 
um, I really wanted to just finish something. And so like now I'm at the point where like this is the third draft. But in reality, I know if I was to ever try to make this or really try to refine it and get to the next level, I think all of the, the best points are going to come from, you know, the rewriting. So definitely along the way, I'll probably do more drafts of this one. But I really just wanted to meet this goal. And uh, and yeah, so thank you guys for watching these. And I hope, you know, I was able to share something that could be helpful. If it was helpful, you know, give it a like, subscribe. Uh, we're making more short films on this channel and some more behind the scenes stuff with photography and video production and uh, filmmaking. So thank you and until next time.